good afternoon. I'm Susie Copeland, president of the Manatee County Democratic Black Caucus. And I want to personally thank uh, Beverly, the Manatee Democratic Party for joining with African-Americans as we celebrate Black History Month by honoring and acknowledging the achievements of Blacks in America since coming over on slave ships. Bev, as you may aware, be aware, there is a push in this country that every public school must develop a curriculum of African-American history. And this must be done if American history is to be truly taught. I believe that if American history is to be accurately taught, there cannot be an absence of Black achievements recorded. How did Black History Month begin? Well, in 1915, Carter G. Woodson, who is known as the father of Black history, traveled to Chicago with many other Blacks to take part in the national 50th anniversary of emancipation. Woodson was inspired to do more to celebrate Black history and heritage. While celebrating in Chicago, Woodson and others founded the study of Negro life and history, which later became the Association for the Study of African-American History. In 1916, Woodson launched, launched the Journal of Negro History, which highlighted and brought attention to the achievements of Blacks in America. So in February, 1926, Woodson sent out a press release announcing the very first Negro History Week. He chose February because the month contained the birthdays of Abraham Lincoln and Frederick Douglass. Now, while Lincoln knew his birthday was February 12th, Douglass, a former slave, didn't really know his actual birthday, but he marked the occasion on February 14th. As others embraced Woodson's initiative, many struggles struggled to gather course materials and other resources to highlight Black achievements. In the early 1940s, efforts began to expand the week of public celebration of African-American heritage and, in, and achievements into a longer event. With the rise of the civil rights and black power movement in the 1960s, young African-Americans on college campuses were becoming increasingly conscious of the historic dimension of their experience. So in 1976, on the 50th anniversary of the first Negro History Week, the association officially made the shift to Black History Month. And while we have been celebrating Black History Month since 1926, perhaps our shift needs to change to press, to urge, demand, and elect those who will vote to incorporate our history into the textbooks. Thank you, Bev, and the Manatee Democratic Party for celebrating with us Black History Month. 